Good morning, gang. It is time for the life of Christ. So grab your Bible. We are going to be in Luke chapter 24 today. Luke chapter 24. Now, Christ has has just arisen from the grave and the ladies have seen him at the or they had seen the angel at the tomb and then Mary Magdalene she saw Jesus and she talked to him she, and he, she heard him say Mary remember isn't that cool and she thought he was the gardener well those weren't the only people that saw Jesus ask after he was arisen. So we're going to see this now in Luke 24. And it says, Behold, two of them, two disciples, went out the same day to the village called Emmaus, which was also from Jerusalem, about three, three score furlongs. That's about six miles away from Jerusalem, okay? So they are on their road to Emmaus. From Jerusalem. They're walking along the road and they're talking to each other. We're, I'm sorry, we're in verse 13 of chapter 24. And it came to pass in verse 15, it says, and it came to pass while they communed together, while they were talking back and forth, Jesus himself drew near and went with them. Wow. How cool is that? They're walking down the road and this man comes up and joins them. But verse 16 tells us something really interesting. It says, but their eyes were held that they should not know him. They didn't know him. Now remember, Mary didn't know him at the tomb. She, she just was so surprised that he had risen again. So here are these two people and they're, they're coming from Jerusalem. They had been there to witness Jesus' crucifixion. They're walking down the road of Emmaus, and Jesus comes up beside them and joins them, and they have no clue who it is. And he said unto them, What manner of communications are these that ye have one to another as you walk and are sad? He said, What are you talking about that's making you so sad as you're walking along? And one of them, whose name was Cleopas, answering said unto him, Art thou only a stranger in Jerusalem? And hast thou not known the things which have come to pass in these last days? You see, everybody had known about Jesus being crucified. So they, they looked at this guy and thought, he has got to be from a long way away if he doesn't know what just happened, that he doesn't know that Jesus is crucified. And he, did, and he said unto them, what things? Like he didn't know. <laughs> I love that. He has his, God has a sense of humor. Mm -hmm. And they said unto him, concerning Jesus of Nazareth, which was a prophet, mighty in deed and word before God and all the people, and how the chief priests and our rulers delivered him to be condemned to death and have crucified him. Oh, how horribly they must have felt. And we trusted that he had been he which should have redeemed Israel. They said, we thought he was going to be the king. And he, he's dead now. And beside all this, today is the third day since these things were done. Yea, and certain women also of our company made us astonished, which were early at the sepulcher. So these disciples had heard from the women that Jesus wasn't there, that the tomb was empty. Yea, and certain women also of our company made us astonished that were early at the sepulchre. And when they found not his body, they came, saying that they had also seen a vision of angels, which said that he was alive. And certain of them which were with us went to the sepulchre and found it, even as the women had said. But him they saw not. They didn't see Jesus. Then said he unto them, O oh, fools and slow of heart, to believe all that the prophets have spoken. Ought not Christ to have suffered these things and to enter into his glory? And this is, this is what I love, okay? Here he is. Jesus is walking with these disciples. They've told him all about the crucifixion. They told him about the women coming to the empty tomb. And oh, how can this be? And Jesus said, and he, and he told them, verse 27, it said, And beginning at Moses, that means in the Old Testament, and all the prophets, he expounded unto them in all the scriptures the things concerning himself. 
he told them about himself. Isn't that kind of cool? So here he is walking along the road and he tells them all about himself. And they drew near to a village where they were headed and he made as though he would go further, but they constrained him saying, abide with us, come on in, join us for dinner for it is toward evening and the day is far spent. And he went in and tarried with them. And it came to pass as he as they sat at meat with them, so they sat down to eat a meal, he took bread and he blessed it and he brake and he gave it to them. And their eyes were opened and they knew him. <laughs> they finally knew who this person was. It was Jesus. It was the one that they'd been mourning and so sad about his death, and there he is right with them. And he vanished out of their sight. Wow. Would that have been amazing to have been there, to have eaten dinner, and all of a sudden, he's gone. And to sit there and look at each other and go, what just happened? I love that. I think that's such an amazing thing. Now, I want to, we're going to read a couple more verses today. And it says, But they said one to another, Did not our heart burn within us while he talked with us in the way and while he opened unto us the scriptures? They said, We should have known there was something different about him. He wasn't just a prophet. He knew things. And our heart... Oh, wow, to listen to him. Our heart was so excited we should have known it was Jesus. But these two disciples had no clue that they'd been spending the whole day walking with Jesus after he had been resurrected. And then he ate a meal with them. And then he vanished. Wow, we have an amazing God. I hope you remember that. I hope you remember I love you. Bye-bye.